If there's one thing that almost all the great putters do, it's release the putter. What does that mean? How do you do it? I'm going to show you the best and easiest way. Luke Donald was one of the best putters of all time on the PGA Tour. He led almost all the statistics for five years in a row. The putter head went straight back, straight through, and then curved to the left after he hit the ball. If you look in the dictionary, the word release means allow or enable to escape from confinement or set free, or allow to move, act, or flow freely. Are you releasing the putter? Here's an example of good putting rhythm. With good putting rhythm, what happens is the blade is slightly open right before impact. As the putter contacts the ball, the blade is slightly closing. This gives the ball that special roll that all great putters have. It is a good release that allows this to happen, slightly open to slightly closed. This gives the ball a great roll. It dives into the hole like a rat diving into the sewer. How then do we create this release? Or, in other words, how do we allow the putter to move freely and when do we do it? When we look at the end of the stroke, we can see that the putter face is closed and the left wrist is almost at a right angle. The angle of the left wrist at setup versus the angle of the left wrist at finish is quite different. If the left wrist is loose just before impact and allowed to break down, the correct release will occur. In other words, the putter flows freely. Two bad things happen when you don't release the putter. First, the putter blade stays open, requiring you to rotate your wrist to square up the putter. This is very difficult to do on a consistent basis. Also, the putter head comes up too fast through impact and causes a glancing blow. Here you can see that the angle of the left wrist is the same after impact as it is at a dress the hallmark of not releasing the putter. Here you can see the square putter face at address, but it fails to square up at impact due to the fact that the putter has not been released. Also, you can see how high the putter head finishes. There are over 20 muscles in the forearm, and therefore the movements of the hand are very complex. If we tried to use these muscles to cause the release, it would be very complex. Also, it would not fit the definition of a release, as the putter would not be moving freely. We must set up the conditions to allow the putter to move freely through impact. First, we must put the putter in the lifeline of both hands. This allows the path of the putter to be correct through impact and after impact. Next, we must have good rhythm. On the forward stroke, the left elbow must stop abruptly, allowing the left wrist to break down, and this in turn allows the putter to release. This is good rhythm, and you can see the putter release. You can see in the slow motion video that the putter comes straight back from the ball, goes straight back to the ball, slightly closes through impact, and then causes a gentle curve with the putter face closed at the finish. If you grip the putter in the fingers too much and not in your lifeline, it will cause the putter head to curve too abruptly through impact. Here is an example of that. When the putter is gripped in the fingers too much, the lie of the putter is too flat, the toe is off the ground, you should grip the putter so the shaft is like the green line. If the wrists are bent too upright, this will prevent the putter from releasing. Most likely, this will cause the putter to trail off to the right. The face stays open and most likely you'll miss the putt to the right. The putter is curving the wrong way and the putter head is too far off the ground causing a glancing blow through impact. When the release is early, the ball will go left. It usually occurs because the putter is slowing down or decelerating before impact. 
You can see the shaft is leaning back and the face is closed at impact. This is where it should be, leaning forward and a square face. When the release is late, the ball will go to the right. The shaft will be leaning too far forward and the face will stay open through impact. You always hear the announcers on TV saying, accelerate the putter through impact, accelerate the putter through impact. All this does is cause the face to be open. If you're accelerating the putter through impact, you're going to have to manipulate the face to square it up. Here's a drill to see if you're releasing the putter correctly. Lay a club on the ground, take it straight back, straight through, and then let the putter release. Let your left wrist break down. What you should see is a gentle curve and the putter should be left of the line at the finish and the face should be closed. Hold your finish each time and see if it looks like this. Remember, straight back, straight through, stop the left elbow abruptly and let the putter release. Most great putters release the putter by letting their left wrist break down through impact. Releasing the putter produces a consistent special roll. The passive release is better because there are so many muscles in the left forearm. Remember, release that putter. Let it escape from confinement. Set it free. Allow it to flow freely. You'll make more putts. If you like this blog and video, send us your email address. We'll send you more free blogs and videos.